You're watching Eurosport, Europe's number one sports channel. Fabiola da Silva and Ayumi Kawasaki up next in the women's vert here at Pierside in San Francisco. This was uh, Maki Komori, last year's bronze medalist in the first run. Whole bunch of new tricks she was showing off. Ayumi Kawasaki did the biggest, most difficult tricks in the first round. And Fabiola had the best line. So after the first run of two, Kawasaki to Silva Komori is the way it stands. Let's go to the second run now. She speaks no English at all, but we caught up with her in Japan. She's got a story to tell. You. 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 What's like skating a new and individual? Japan is very formal, set in its ways. They don't always agree, but that is changing. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? At a school, I'm a student, uniform and all. That is the Japanese way. And only my closet friends know my life as a skater. I am, I am. Javelin has taught me a lot. I feel different than many of my classmates, and I usually hang out with my older friends. They are always testing me as a skater and as a person. I like skating with Fabiola for the same reason. She is so strong. Because of our language, we don't talk much, but I learn a lot from her. Japan's history and cultures are very important, but I don't care to be quiet and reserved. It is important to me to be myself. I am who I am. So now you, now you know a bit more about Ayumi Kawasaki. She leads after the first round with a score of 56-25. Can she seal the X Games gold medal here in her second run in the vert round here at the pier in San Francisco. She's got to pull out all the stops in this second run to fend off the challenge of Fabiola da Silva, who will be coming back fast and furious in this second run. Oh, lovely 540. The height will score big with the judges, along with the technical tricks, the grinds on the coping at the top of the ramp on either side. She's uh, just 14 years of age from Osaka in Japan. Yeah, that's a fabulous trick. And so's that. Kawasaki is on fire. Completely inverted there. Oh, and there's another one. Three of those at the end of the routine. That was 500cc Kawasaki. If ever I saw it, Ayumi Kawasaki, aged 14, will, for the moment at least, continue in gold medal position, and this is why. She has sensational aerial awareness. 540 with a Luke King, just grabs her shin. Now she plants her feet skywards. Superb invert. Upside down, 720. There were three of those at the end. She's still in first. She's improved her run massively. 56.25 in the first, 59.00 in the second. That's a tough job now for Fabiola. She's got a lot of support here from family and friends. And here she is, Fabiola da Silva from Sao Paulo in Brazil. A veritable veteran of the sport now, age 20. Scored 56 in the first run, but has to improve on that hugely now to be sure of a gold medal, which she's won in the past. <laughs> Looks a little tentative from Fabiola. Her line's good, but there's just not the tricks coming in. Now she starts to grow in confidence with a 540 there and a 720. She needs the upside down 720 that uh, Ayumi Kawasaki pulled. There's a good invert. 
She's using the entire width of the ramp as well. That's important. Now, oh, a mistake on the grind. I think her chance has gone. She'll be in the medals, but it won't be the gold that she's come for. She'll go back to Sao Paulo with either a silver or a bronze. Time's out for Fabiola. She's been beaten by the 14-year-old Ayumi Kawasaki. It's not confirmed yet, but I think she knows in her heart of hearts that the gold is hers. Fabiola smiles at the end of this run. It had uh, some fine elements, but it had a certain amount of tension in it as well. Too many mistakes. That was a good 720. Landing high on the ramp. This was a good invert. She was doing it uh, very close to the ramp. That's pretty scary. There's her mum. Second it is for Fabiola. The gold then goes to Ayumi Kawasaki of Japan. The silver to Fabiola de Silva. Maki Komura, also of Japan, rounds off the medals. She's only 14. What a future she has ahead of her. Here's a clip. Who's your day? The last 24 hours of X. Young and talented and ready to take some medal. Bert Triples is next at the uh, 99 X Games. We're staying within line. Three guys or two guys and a girl or three girls at a time. Seven teams, 50 seconds per run. Best score from the two runs counts. And once again, as always, it's judged on a 100-point scale. Now the first trio we'll see. Ty Chris of France, Javier Buhanda of Spain, Sven Bockhorst of Holland. The all-European trio get to work in this vert triples final. They've been working on this, they've been rehearsing this for uh, a few days coming into the competition. They don't get too much chance to ride together as they're from different parts of Europe. But there's money up for grabs and of course X Games uh, titles. And an X Games medal can open an awful lot of doors. The sponsorship, TV, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, they're getting the synchronization well now. Now they're starting to go over, under, under and over each other. Five judges here watching style, difficulty, consistency in line. And they would have enjoyed that from the European trio of Chris Behander and Bockhorst. None too shabby this was. This was uh, a perfect grab, triple over under, and look at them go there. McTwist in the middle, two spins on the outside, and uh, a 900 flat spin. Who was that? Was that Chris? I think that was Chris. Eggplant McTwist there. Good timing at the finish. Chris Buhander and Buckhurst lead with a score of 88. That's a good score. Belaris, Kramer and Crawford are next up. We caught up with them. We put together the best run in all of Triple's history. Going for the sympathy vote, Aton Kramer, Manuel Belaris and Scott Crawford have, have donned security jackets. I think this year they better recognize. I think everyone knows that we're going to do a costume store. This is a secret. This, this is nice. perfect. Do you even have just like a cape? Anger leads to fear. Yeah, I was going to go to state and see. Fear leads to suffering. I think we're going to win. We need, to, we need to go practice for our runs. So we start off with that, pull them out. I look over at you. 
you pull out your sword, you do your deal, spin, spin, spin. The entertainment value that we're going to give and bring to this contest is going to be unparalleled in all of the X Games. That's big talk. That's big talk. So here they come, Manuel Billaris, Aiden Kramer, and Scott Crawford, two Aussies, and a Yank. An American, I beg your pardon. Let's go, guys! Now, what's going to happen? It's a sort of uh, Star Wars theme, we've established that. Will it win them a medal, though? Maybe they're not here for medals or money. Maybe they're just here for entertainment value. Well, it's time to get going, boys. Come on, let's see it. Let's see what you got. Two Jedi's on the outside. I imagine that's uh, Darth Vader in the middle, or one of the Vaders, anyway. Oh no, one of them's down. The lightsaber things. I've got to confess, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, so um, I only ever saw the one, the first one. You know, with Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and Chewbacca and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good, boys. And who's that then? Is that a young Luke Skywalker? Well, it's good entertainment for the crowd, but they came here obviously not expecting to win. Manuel Villaris, Aiton Kramer and Scott Crawford entertaining the capacity crowd here. Maybe they just took the creative license too far. There's Scott Crawford, he can't see where he's going. His cape has come up over his face and uh, he landed blindside 540 on his knees. So they've got into third. But there's some uh, more serious teams still to come, including the all Japanese trio of 13 year old Takeshi Yasutoko, 15 year old Aito Yasutoko, and 21 year old Maki Komori. And there's the father of the Yasutoko brothers who is always there with this video camera. Skate Daddy, they call him. He eats, sleeps, and drinks skating. You. 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 <laughs> Yo. Good skate strip. Good skate strip, man. Uh, so, I am out of school. I'm a pro skater. Yeah. I go to the park around noon and a week closer around 10 at night. I work, teach and skate all day. School will be a rest. At night, we go home and read, watch TV or play video games. Then eat, shower and go to bed. Rewind and do it again. Every day, school, skate. <laughs> Almost everything we do, we do as a family. I skied at professional Laura Derby. We met Laura Disc dancing and shows. And we even married and skaters. Anna began skating at 2, I began at 3, and Eito when he was at 2 and a half. When we are young, our father coaching us physically. Now he walks with the mentally. Everything is going extremely well. For us, this is the ultimate dream. Our children enjoying something that means so much to us. We will not be upset if they did not escape. We will build our skate park for all the children and for the future of the sport in Japan. <laughs> Let's get the bye-bye! 
and you've guessed it, their favourite fish is skate. The Yasutoko brothers and Maki Komori. She's the oldest one, she's 21. The brothers are just 13 and 15 and they've already won uh, a whole shed load of titles between them. Now, let's watch them go in this Vert Triples competition at the X Games. It's uh, follow the leader, Chase Me Charlie at the beginning. They just put this routine together in the last three days. Timing is very good so far. Oh, it wasn't until then anyway. Mackie got a bit left behind. Can you believe that mum and dad got married on skates? The little sister, she's just two and a half and she skates already. Nice little 540 over the uh, skate helmet. Maki Kumori uh, risking life and limb as the brothers go under and over. That's the end of their run. That was sensational stuff from the Japanese and their skate daddy with the video camera again. Takeshi Yasutoko, Aito Yasutoko and Naki Komori. This is how they started. These grinds are called dolphins. And she came close to getting a clout there, Naki. Dad loved it. Skate and skating is their life. And they've gone second behind uh, the European trio, 77-67. Now another big trio coming up, Cesar Mora, Matt Saleno of Australia, Mike Budnick of the USA, they are serious contenders. Cesar Mora and Matt Salerno, along with Mike Budnick, three of the finest skaters on the European and World Tour and all the X-Trials and the ASA competitions that they take part in for a cracking start. They're getting as close to each other as they dare. Timing is perfect so far. They haven't lost the synchronization at all. Just a momentary lapse there. Now they've got it back, putting grinds together. Somebody's got left behind. I wonder if this is deliberate. I don't think so. I think they wanted to be uh, three of them together at this stage, and somebody's lost concentration. Yeah, they're all trying to do this together, but it's not quite working. It's a good run, though, full of very difficult tricks, high-scoring tricks in any individual run. Harder, of course, when there's three of you in the ramp. There's the finish, a 10.80 attempt. Who was that, Salerno? Salerno got a 10.80. Unbelievable. Three of the most talented skaters in the world. Super difficult manoeuvre. They began to lose timing a bit here at this stage. Three 720s all in a row there and a 1080 at the end. They've gone second, 82, 82 33. The lead's still with the European trio. Chris, Buhanda and Bockhorst lead. Mora, Salerno, Budnik third, uh, second, the Japanese in third. Then Melina Fogarty and Yost in fourth. Into the second run now. Takashi Yasutoko, Aito Yasutoki, and Maki Komoro. Trying to improve their final standings. They're in third at the moment. This is their last chance of getting either a silver or a gold. Remember, it's just the best score that counts. It's the same routine again by the looks of it. and around it's uh, all happening so fast out there in fact they've varied the uh, routine a bit now grinds coming in in succession timing's good Mackie's gone down but she's recovered communicating with each other yeah that's good three flips 
Now the two brothers go off. There's the helmet up and over at the same time. That worked well. Mackie's back in the mix now. Dyson with death as the two brothers get as close as they possibly could have done without knocking a head off. That's good stuff from Yasutoko, Major and Minor, and Maki Komori. And there's a rogue skater in the, in the ramp, somebody with uh, a pair of traditional skates on. And that's Skate, Skate Dad, it's Skate Dad's in there. He's good, isn't he? He's very good. Well, Skate Dad obviously hasn't taken to inline like his sons have and the rest of his family. But it's good entertainment for everybody here in this packed grandstand of the 99X Games. And he's got more to come. He calls this crazy legs. He's just taken over without so much to buy you a leave. Skate Dad. Yeah, I think he's probably just overstayed his welcome a bit now. Come on, Dad, off you go. Get lost. Embarrassing your children. Come on. Skate Dad, get off there. Let's have a look back at the uh, run of the kids. Soul grind, soul grind. And another soul grind, perfectly executed, almost. Mackie just had a hand down. Three Miller flips together. Oof. That was close. And there's a close up of uh, crazy legs. Now, first there was the Partridge family, now there's the Yasutoko family. And Komori as well. They retain bronze medal position. The gold goes to the European trio who led from the start. Ty Christ, Javier Buhanda and Sven Bockhurst confirmed as the aggressive inline vert triples champions. Morris Lerner and Budnik second. And the Japanese trio third. Good competition, good entertainment. A bit of light-hearted uh, stuff, really. And didn't he make his mark? X Games Gold. Taking the gold at International So the prize giving ceremony amid all sorts of celebrations and X Games party atmosphere. But of course, Chris and Bohanda taking top honors i'm off now there's some music coming up with a band called lit and their track of my own enemy don't move